What's going on guys, today I'm bringing you episode 39 of my Oakland Raiders franchise mode here on Madden 15 and today we are here in week 2 taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars as we are 1-0 in the year beating the Ravens in the last episode and they are out with 4 key injuries, Carl Nix, Alfred Morris, Joe Mays and Ray McDonald all are injured in this episode so that will be good for us but not good for the Jaguars as we are trying to go to 2-0 on the year and we are going to be here in Everbank Field in Jacksonville. I think that's what their stadium is called. I know they re, uh, they redid it this year, but I don't think they changed the name. But we're going to start off right here. Dre Archer, we're going to get the ball first. He's going to take this one out to about the 24. And here comes Derek Carr. And in the last week against the Ravens, he had 200 and about 40 yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions as well. So we'll see if he can... Have again, and he also had a rushing touchdown last week, so we'll see if he can continue that stretch here today. As we're going to keep handing it off to Joy Joy Bell, he's going to pick up two first downs in a row, two carries for 22 yards, and now we have a third and four. And we do have two players now that we signed in the offseason that were former Jacksonville Jaguars in the last season, Josh Scobie, our kicker, and Justin Blackman, so we'll see how they can perform against their former team. As we are driving right now, Marcus Wien just caught a first down, now third and eight. Carr is going to find Pierre Thomas, who is going to be just shy of the first down marker, and Josh Scobie's going to attack on his first field goal today. So here comes Blake Bortles and the Jacksonville Jaguars, and their running back today will also be Denard Robinson. And... Blake Bortles is going to get sacked right away here by Justin Tuck, and that's going to force a punt away for the Jaguars now here. We're going to give it a Joyke Bell, who's going to get about a gain of about four yards, and now it's second and six. Quick pass here to Jeremy Macklin, and that is going to pick up a first down and a gain of about 10 yards, or about 14 yards. First and 10, Carr is going deep to Blackman, but that is just overthrown, and that is incomplete. So here's second and 10 now from the 36 car. Pressure's coming and he's going to fumble. And it's picked up by the rookie defensive tackle, Kenny. And he is gone. The big man's going to take this one to the house on the defensive fumble return touchdown. And that's going to give the Jaguars a 7-3 lead. So there is Derek Carr's first turnover today as the pocket collapsed and he fumbled. So we would give the ball right back to the Jaguars, but we would get it right back after a Justin Tuck sack. So here's a first and 10 car quick pass to David Osbury and that is complete for about a gain of two yards now very next play second and eight screen pass to Justin Blackman and Blackman's gonna pick up a first down in a gain of 11 so car seven for 12 for 70 yards now third and six pressures coming car just gets that one off nearly picked off intended for David Osbury and that's another punt away for the Raiders third and five Bortles is going to find Marquise Lee, but it's short of the first down marker. So, neither team is really getting it done on offense. But Joy Bell is having himself a good game. Six carries, 44 yards already. And now, third and 13. Carr, he's going to try lobbing this one up for Whedon. And that ball could have been picked off as well. So, that's going to force another punt away. And this offense, we're already in the second quarter. Only have a field goal on about three or four possessions. And the Jaguars haven't done much either. They really only, their only score is off that defensive touchdown. So second and five here for Bortles. He's going to throw it quickly to the left side. And he's got Marvin Jones enough for a first down. And that was short. That could have been um, out of bounds. But the refs are going to roam inbounds. As here, Denard Robinson cuts inside and picks up a can of 30 yards here. And now it's first and goal from the four. A pitch play to Devonta Freeman, the third year man now. Former Atlanta Falcon, and he's going to pick up the touchdown on the pitch play. And now it's 14 to 3 Jaguars, so we find ourselves down by 11. Screenplay is to no avail there. And now third and 11 for Carr and the Raiders play action. Pressure's coming. Carr just gets rid of that, but nonetheless, that is incomplete. And now we're going to give the Jaguars back the ball. Bortles is going deep, but Smith. Jimmy Smith is going to get that ball right back. He is now in a lead corner in the NFL. Definitely our best corner on our team and could be our best free agent signing that we ever had back in the season one offseason. Now second and 10. Carr, quick pass to Jeremy Macklin. And he's just about get, going to pick up the first down. Now second and 10. Now Carr in the pocket. Throws it over the middle quickly. He's got Jeremy Macklin once again for the first down and a gain of 11. Now second and 20, Carr is going to lob this one up deep to Marcus Whedon and a beautiful throw by Derek Carr and a great catch by Marcus Whedon to get that ball over the shoulder. Now first and 10 for Carr, 
He's going to drop back. He's going to throw this one. He's got a wide open Marcus Whedon, and that is enough for a first down and a gain of 13 yards. Now, third and 10. Carr, he's going to roll out to the left. Pressure's coming. He's going to get this one off to David Osbury, but it's short of the first down marker. And someone is injured on this play. And here we go again. Guess who is injured? And nobody else but Derek Carr. Got injured in the first season, got injured in the second season, now he's injured in in the third season, and now I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed with this. Derek Carr is now prone to injuries. He will have a broken thumb, will be out for this game, and is questionable for the next game. And now this makes me want to look at a quarterback now. I didn't think, I thought Derek Carr be, could be our quarterback for the future, but if injuries are going to keep catching up with him... I'm going to have to look for a quarterback, and that might come by a trade either in this season because we I think this team has a chance to make a Super Bowl run with our one of the best defenses in the league and acquiring Justin Blackman, Jeremy Macklin, Joyke Bell, and a revamped offensive line. I think this team could make a Super Bowl run, but not with a healthy, good quarterback. We cannot do that. So... I might make a trade for a quarterback, but if not, in the offseason, we might go out and draft a quarterback early in the round or have to make a trade to get one or sign one, but that is a long ways ahead. We're only in week two, but you can see here, we are down 17-6 to against the Jaguars. This is could be a surprising upset against us as we're all the way in the second half, and now uh, Kai Forbeth, I believe their kicker is, kicks a field goal, so now it's 20-6. to Now Matt Castle is in that quarterback. And he's going to find Michael Rivera for a gain of seven on his first pass of the day. Now second and three here. It's a play action pass. Castle's going to roll to the right. He's going to throw this one over the middle. He's got David Osbury first down who makes a great catch. And now it's first and ten. Castle is just going to hand it off to Joy Bell. And Bell is going to uh, almost pick up the first down. Now third and two. And we tried buck sweep here. Joy Bell is not able to pick up the first down. And that is going to be another Josh Scobie field goal. So it is 20 to 9. We have not scored one touchdown yet as it's we have three field goals. Josh Scobie has all our points. And now third and one for Bortles. This could be a big stop. But Darrell Young picks up the first down. And this was weird because they had Alfred Morris who was out and Darrell Young. So the Jaguars stole both the Redskins fullback and running back. But a big sack right here by Michael Brockers who's been a huge force for us on that D-line. Knocks the Jaguars out of field goal range, so it's still only a two-possession game. Castle in the pocket, and he's going to get sacked once again. Kenny, the man with the defensive touchdown, picks up the sack. Now here's the Jaguars on third and seven. We could need a big stop, and it is caught by Denard Robinson, just short of the first down marker, but fourth and inches. They are going for it. Bortles drops back to throw, throws this one up to his tight end, he's got Dwayne Allen, the former Colts tight end, picks up a huge first down on fourth and inches, and now it's third and goal from the six, Bortles in the pocket, it's going to get sacked by Michael Brockers for the third time in this game, and that's going to result in a field goal, so we are down 23-9, to now we need to score ASAP, Blackman with the catch here on the right side for a gain of 18. And now, first and ten, next play here from the 38. Castle's good drop back to throw. Pressure coming, and he apparently fumbles on this one. And that is recovered by who else? Kenny, the man that's been all over the field this game. And I'm going to show you the replay here. I guess this is the tuck roll in fact. You can see, I thought that could have been an incomplete pass, but the game's going to roll that out of fumble. I could not challenge that, and that could pretty much be the game right there. Third and 12. Here's Bortles over the middle. We need to stop, but Dwayne Allen once again gets a huge catch on a late down conversion. And we, our team just couldn't get off the field on third down. They were just converting after converting here on third down. Now, Darrell Young gets the fullback run, picks up the touchdown, and that is pretty much the game. We lose on the road here in week two, 30-9. We get blown out by the Jacksonville Jaguars. And main injury, uh, the main thing here today is Derek Carr got injured once again. And... We fold now 1-1 one one on the year, and a lot of questions are surrounding this team as uh, Matt Castle played okay, but he didn't do well, and Joy Bell only had 12 carries, should have ran with him more, and Jeremy Macklin was our reading CV reverse. So that was it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching, and that is it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.